Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of RTHD. Thank you so much for being here. In this episode, I'd like to tell you some of the reasons why I think it's really, really good to get the new Samsung S10e. So stay tuned. <music> guys so I have actually had the S10e for a few weeks now about two or three weeks now and I've been churning out very little bit of videos regarding the S10e I'm actually using the S10e right now to record so with that being said these are the few reasons I think the S10e is such an excellent phone let's start with reason number one reason number one is the camera capabilities okay so this S10e phone actually has three cameras the s10 has more and the s10 plus even more as far as i as i'm aware but on the s10e we have three cameras we have one camera the selfie camera which is actually the one that i'm using here so you could use that as your judgment and also there's two other cameras to the back of the phone which can be used for, for pictures so there's one that zooms in close and one that zooms out a little bit as well too um what i have to say is that for me especially video uh, recording I tend to like the S10e because it can actually do 4k at 30 frames per second now I don't actually record at, at 4k 30 frames per second but the selfie camera is capable of doing that which is excellent because it keeps up with you know the new the latest YouTube requirements and so forth if you actually are going to record at 4k uh, this phone is excellent for that. I still go at 1080p, but that's beside the point. The point is that the camera does a really excellent job. Now, that that being said, it also does an excellent job um, with uh, photos as well. It actually has the ability of blurring out the background digitally, which I find was really cool, and it worked really, really well as well, too. So when you take a picture, you can actually blur the background using the different features on the camera as well. I thought that was one of the best things that the SNE actually had. And of course, well, the audio recording is fairly decent as well too with the camera settings. So with that being said, let's head over to reason number two. So reason number two is the runtime on the phone. The phone actually is capable of running about a day, if not more, like full works, doing a lot of things. It may not be for gaming, but definitely throughout your day, you're not going to run out completely of your battery, which is excellent nowadays because most phones tend to run out within a 6 to 14 hour variance, depending on how much you use the phone. And one of the issues that I had with my S6 was that I sort of have to conserve the battery a lot of the times, even though I want to check my phone so often to look at uh, notifications and so forth I don't always do that because I'm you know I want to store the battery keep the battery in for the whole day but with the S10e I can tell you that it actually uses a lot less battery or and when I say a lot less battery I believe that it uses it gives you enough time for the day and I think that's really really excellent because you know you don't want to your phone is like your comfort in, a, in, in, in the regards of um, you know having it for emergency and so forth as well too and of course interacting and getting your messages your notifications and so forth so in terms of usage the uses the, the battery usage it is excellent and also standby time is really really amazing like i would actually leave this phone um with about 90 percent battery and after about three days of, of standby time it still have like at least 60 percent so that's really really good as well i find um so that's the other reason for that so let's head over to reason number three so reason number three is sort of strange but yes it is really really cool that's the a built-in wireless charging you can actually take the s10 and, pull and put another phone behind it and it would be able to wirelessly charge that phone as long as the phone the other phone is capable of wireless charging um would you really use this feature maybe not so much but i am guessing that perhaps if you have wireless charging perhaps for your earbuds and so forth and you run out your battery run out on the earbuds and you desperately need to, need to charge it well then you could always use your phone to do that however of course i'm thinking that maybe the uh, the efficiency of, of transferring energy between the two is going to cause the S10e battery as well to drain a little bit faster than normal, obviously, because it's charging, right? But with that being said, I think that's a cool feature. It's a feature that may come in handy, you know, in a desperate situation. And I thought that um, that was quite interesting that it actually has a built-in wireless charger in it. Let's head over to reason number four. All right, so reason number four is a bit obvious, but I have to say that it is very, very important for me. 
coming from an S6 and using an S10e, I have to say that speed, the speed of the S10e is wow amazing. And in fact, it's supposed to be four times as fast as the S6. And I have to tell you, things load really, really fast. If you load the browser, for example, the render time on the browser, you know sometimes you have to wait for the elements to render. Even if you have a fast internet connection, and this happens on an old phone, it doesn't render very quickly. But I have to tell you, the SNE, it renders nearly instantaneously if you have a fast, if you have a fast internet connection. And I have definitely seen UI, the UI itself is very responsive and it just works. I haven't had a crash um, I haven't had something saying, well, like loading and I'm waiting forever and so forth, but I haven't tested games. I've just tested the normal apps like WhatsApp and all these different uh, basic apps and they work like a charm. The browser works really, really well. In fact, uh, Samsung actually has its own uh, browser on this phone and you can also use Chrome as well too. But definitely the speed, if you want something that's fast, doesn't lag, doesn't hold back, this is the phone to get. With that being said, let's head over to reason number five. All right, so reason number five is the bezel. That's the outer area of the actual phone. You would actually notice that while many uh, many want the bezel to be closer out to the edges, that's, you know, the screen actually touching the edges. I have to say that what was actually nice about this phone is that it doesn't actually touch the edges, which means that when you grip it with your hand, for example, you know, sometimes you grip with your hand and you're, you know, something, you know, your, your phone, it actually, your hand actually rubs onto the side of the phone. It doesn't activate the phone. And so I love that about the new s e because it stops it from, you know, activating. Sometimes that hand, your hand is actually holding onto the sides of the phone and you're trying to scroll or whatever and it just doesn't scroll because it can't, can't figure out where the gesture is coming from. If it's coming from the side, if it's coming from, you know, you moving up and down. So definitely, I know this is, might be an, a disadvantage for many people, but it's an advantage for me in the sense that it was able to, um, you know, I could, I could actually maneuver it and hold it properly when I had it in my hand. Uh, with that being said, let's head over to reason number six. All right, so reason number six has to do with the screen brightness. The screen brightness and the clarity on the screen is really clean and clear it's crisp it's colorful um it's 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 not faded in any way you know it's really glossy i like the screen it's actually glossy and nice and um it, it it picks up blacks really well and also colors as well with that being said just on a side note the audio on this phone too is really really good compared to my s6 uh the audio on the s10e also comes it comes a little bit more prepared. It's a little bit cleaner. It's a little bit more bassier. Yeah, definitely, of course, it's not going to be like a boombox that quality per se, but it's definitely a little rise up from what was there before. All right, so we are heading over to the last point, which is reason number seven. Here goes. All right, so the last point is this. The fingerprint reader is actually on the power button and that's really really cool because you know when you think about it when you start up your phone when you want to open up when you want to unclose and when you want to you know anything activate on the screen you press the power button because it's normally in standby but the cool thing about this is that you could do two things at the same time when you press the power button you could also unlock the phone in one shot i thought that was really really genius um it was interesting to get used to how they did that because the power button is no longer uh on the outside and you know it it's not outdented if you want to say it. it's 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 actually smooth on the phone smooth on the side so you could actually swipe and open up the phone all together and i thought that was really really good as well definitely this phone is an excellent uh you know it's an excellent companion and um i want to say that even though the price might be a little bit high that it's definitely worth it for the tech that you get in it i haven't had any issues it's it's never gotten hot on me anything like that and I, again i have i've had it for a few weeks actually about a month and it's working really, really well. I'm actually using it, as I said, to record um, on YouTube as well too. And uh, you know, it's a, it's the, for the price and what I get out of it, it's definitely worth it. So that being said, guys, thank you so much for viewing. Uh, please like and subscribe, hit that bell icon, and I'll see you guys again soon. So stay tuned for another episode of RTHD coming to a YouTube screen near you. Bye.